News 46 is brought to you by Golden Casino Group, where you'll always find great fun, good food, and fantastic entertainment, all at Gold Town, Lakeside, and the Pahrump Nugget. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, a human skeleton is found in the desert above Pahrump. And the long wait is over for fans of Jack in the Box. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Las Vegas Metro Police are heading up the investigation into found human remains. It's Thursday, September 28th. I'm Zach Reiner. And I'm Unette Gentry. Well, an investigation is underway to determine what happened to a person whose bones were found in the mountains overlooking Pahrump. The Clark County Coroner has confirmed that human skeletal remains have been found on Wheeler Pass Road just over the Nye County line in Clark County. According to Las Vegas Metro, they were contacted about 1.40 yesterday afternoon by the Nye County Sheriff's Office who requested they respond for human remains that were located off of Wheeler Pass. The remains were found by a reporting party who contacted the Nye County Sheriff's Office. The Clark County Coroner, Nye County Sheriff's Office, and Nye County Search and Rescue were able to recover the remains but had to hike to the very remote location near Mount Charleston. Clark County Coroner says it will be some time before they actually have the results of their investigation. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. Well, the economy is getting stronger here in Nye County. The Pahrump Jack in the Box opened for business this morning at 9. We caught up with the very first customer in line and owners of the new restaurant. I am so, so excited right now because it's always I want to open it in Pahrump. And the community keep on asking when you guys coming in Pahrump. And now we are here and we are very excited. You own 15 other restaurants? 15 other locations in Las Vegas. And so uh, here in Pahrump, is there anything that's a little bit different? Because I heard that you had a unique location. Yes, it's going to be a little bit different because we know there is, we want to be part of community and we're going to do a lot of different stuff in this town. And we're going to lis listen to the community. If they want us to bring something unique, we will talk to the corporate and we will bring the unique food here. The building is a little bit different? Building is uh, our new model. What, uh, as a company, what they approved us, it's called Mark 9C. That's a new one. So that's the newest one, the newest building model. And the menu is the same? The menu is same. I'm so excited. I've been waiting 24 years for Jack and Avax to show up here. It's a long time. Yes. You also cut the ribbon. Yeah, that was kind of a pleasant surprise. How did that happen? Uh, they just asked me if I wanted to. They, I came yesterday and tell them how excited I was about them coming here. And they were, you know, so they're, they're really nice people. I've been going to the store on Fort Apache that they also own for a little while because my two daughters. Same owner, right? Yeah, same owner. He owns 15 of them in Vegas, uh, two owners. Uh, well, we brought a lot of managers in from Las Vegas to help uh, train. We did a lot of training in Las Vegas. We're also doing a lot of on-the-job training for the next few weeks, and uh, Las Vegas restaurant managers are coming out to help with that. All the hard work we have uh, done to get this uh, place up and running has finally come to uh, come to uh, life, so we're very, very excited. So uh, this right here on Highway 160 is open officially today. You had a soft opening last night? Yeah, we just wanted to try it out for a couple of hours to see all the systems are running are fine, so when we open and we have the guests here, so we'll be able to serve them right. Any specials going on right now? Uh, everything is special. <laughs> Come on down here. <laughs> I know you got a DJ out here today. We got DJ, we got games, we got prizes, uh, you know, uh, everything and, and the best uh, tasting food. <laughs> a lot of employees hired here locally? Yes, we did. And they have been training with us for over two, uh, two months. Uh, we've been training them off-site and in, uh, on-site and, um, and now they're, they're working here. So. How big is the crew? Uh, we have about 40 people. Wow, fantastic. So uh, it's open for business now. Everybody come on down. Yes, please come on down. We're waiting, waiting for you. <laughs> 
10,000 containers of food waiting to be shipped to Puerto Rico are waiting in the main port of San Juan. Officials say there aren't enough truck drivers to transport the food, water and medical supplies. They say that only 20 percent of truck drivers have reported back to work since Hurricane Maria swept through. There's also a shortage of diesel fuel and blocked roads from debris, making it difficult to deliver the necessary supplies to those in desperate need. And since there's no phone service, the shipping companies are unable to solicit drivers for work. All right, that's unfortunate, and we will keep an eye on those events. Stay tuned to News 46. We'll have more local news just ahead. That's right.